Good morning, everybody. This is Ronan Lavelle at Subway in Walmart in Fall River. Uh, I'm here with Tough Daddy, and we're having ourselves uh, a little breakfast. It's a very good uh, Subway. In, in, when you come to uh, Walmart, do your shopping, uh, you can get something good to eat. I do like Subway. I got myself a garlic roast beef sandwich. Look, Look at this. this. Nice roast beef, got um, some nice vegetables. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it. Puffy here, he got himself some chicken nachos uh, sandwich. The new spicy chicken uh, nacho sub. Yep. And Ronan got his, which is also new. As the nice garlic roast beef. Which is why we're doing this review on Subway again, because we wanna share our experience and our opinion on what we think about some of these new Subway items. Mm. Nice garlic sauce. Very nice. And I also got these. Doritos Sweet and Tangy Barbecue. Mm. Never had these yet. And then I got a straight zero orange vanilla. Actually pretty good. I got the Power 8 orange uh, zero. I gotta say, this is a really good sandwich. Kind of like a sweet and smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. I love the aioli garlic sauce. Mixed in with this uh, roast beef. Uh, the only thing extra I got on mine that it doesn't come with is like lettuce, tomato, avocado, and then the banana peppers and jalapenos. But I mean, just look at this. And look at that. It's actually pretty packed. Definitely get the nacho cheese flavor. I like the crunch you get from these crispy onions. Mm. The chicken is the same rotisserie chicken that they use for like the rotisserie subs. But it's good. I like it. Oh, there's the avocado. Mm. I just love avocado. I do too. So that avocado, and then all the flavors of the vet, fresh vegetables here, from the lettuce to the tomato, the onion, the bell pepper, and then the hot peppers, and it just all works and blends well together. Then you get a little bit of that sweetness from the bread, from the honey oat. So remember here at Subway, you can choose your own bread which is nice because not too many sandwich shops have that. And they make their own bread. Mm. For the price, it's a really good bargain. You know, it's good sandwiches when you're on the go. I like the fact that they're willing to try different flavors and stuff like that because they're always, you know, they always come up with something new. Now, I like the taste and flavor in the nacho cheese. It is a little salty, so they probably use some kind of like a cheese whiz, but it still has very good flavor. Now, I do like Subway, which is why we've done a few Subway reviews, like today where we're reviewing a couple of the uh, 
new items such as like the spicy nacho chicken or the garlic roast beef but it still doesn't compare to Jersey Mike's I'm sorry <laughs> this after having Jersey Mike's that day I'm hooked but it doesn't mean I don't like Subway anymore I'm just saying where Jersey there's a difference between Jersey Mike's and Subway <clears throat> With Jersey Mike's, you're getting real fresh deli meat. And the the meat is just a, probably a better quality. I'm not saying that the meat here is not good, but it's just that you could tell the, the difference in the taste in the meats. And when you get a steak and cheese, it's cooked on the griddle, not in the oven. Yeah. That's the other thing, too. Well, if you haven't seen that episode yet, please head on over there. Check that episode out. But like I, like we both have said, we like Subway. And it, on a go and you really are hungry and you need to, a good sandwich, Subway's a good bargain. Oh. You know, it's it's affordable. And... And they're like Dunkin' Donuts. There's one almost on every corner. Mm. Well, in Jersey Mike's, you might find it in certain specific locations. Same with the Angelos, now that they closed a lot of their shops. Yeah. And eventually we'll get over there and try them too. And they're owned by uh, Papa Gino. But even the pizza place itself is also closed a lot of location. The subway gives out coupons. Mm -hmm. Like buy one, get one free, like we did today. And it's a football. The catch was, though, as on the game says, you buy a football with a fountain drink. You get a foot long free. I mean, two foot long sandwiches, okay, and two medium mountain drinks, and his chips came out to $16.82. Oh, it was originally $27, but with the coupon, it went down to 16 That's a bargain and a savings. That was the it was buy one, get one. Yeah. So, you know, you can get good deals like that. So, really, we just paid for one sandwich, bag of chips, and two drinks, and the other sandwich was free, which is what brought it down from 27 to 16 that's a bargain and that's one of the things that's really nice about subway is they have these bargains i'm really liking these new dorito chip and it says sweet and tangy barbecue mm -hmm. i don't get much of a tanginess but i do get a sweetness and a smokiness Well, I mean, again, just look at how packed this is. And also, to remember, just uh, try to be respectful in the comments below. I mean, we're both big boys. We can take whatever people throw at us, but all I want to say is there's social media, they look at this stuff now and you got some keyboard warriors that think that big and bad because they can do insults behind the keyboard you know? so if something gets deleted it doesn't mean that it's from us you know and it's like it's just sad that with the advent of um, now social media and stuff like that where it could be a positive tool you know, because we're, we're giving our opinions about a sandwich place 
and also uh, uh, affordability and stuff like that. So this way here, people can make an informed choice as to where to go if they they want to take their family someplace where it's not going to break the bank. And because of that, that's a positive thing. But then you got the other people who have nothing better to do than just to shoot negativity out because you know they just negative people. It's one thing about stating your opinion. Maybe you don't think maybe a place is good or whatever. That's fine. But be respectful. Sure, sure. And then I do like this. So I'm in just up. It's the same chicken that they use in their rotisserie chicken sandwich. Oh, so it's not dried at all. It's literally uh, ball of pop. Yeah. Full of pop, whatever. Yeah, that. Uh, Love the garlic. But that uh, that new uh, nacho, spicy nacho chicken, I thought was absolutely delicious. Again, I had them add like the lettuce, tomato, and the jalapeno and banana pepper. That it doesn't come with. Normally, just comes with like the bell pepper, onion, the chicken, the sauce, which could be the nacho cheese sauce. But it was absolutely delicious. Uh, again, the nacho cheese sauce did taste a little like it was like, like a whiz type cheese. Because uh, it had that little bit of saltiness, but it also had that little bit of spiciness too. But it was good. But it wasn't like a hot spicy. It was a delicious spicy. Mm. It did have that uh, nacho flavor to it. Again, the chicken, because it was a uh, rotisserie chicken that they used for their rotisserie chicken sandwich. It was good. It was delicious. I would definitely recommend it. It is part of the series. Well, I would definitely yeah. recommend the roast beef. That, yeah. that garlic roast beef, it was really And good. that new garlic roast beef one is also part of the series, too, now. And they have, I, I think it's like, what, two other, two more other ones that are part of the series so if you'd like to see us come back and try those let us know in the comments below i know one of them was a barbecue something chicken and i forgot what the other one was and if there's anywhere that you'd like to see us go to please let us know in the comments below we'll do our best to go to those locations not only try its food but give our honest opinion on the food in the customer service as well as the establishment Thank you all for always watching and for all of your love and your support. Like we've, uh, you know, we can't say it enough. All of this here is possible because of all of you. So thank you so much. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Both are free and it highly helps out the channel. If you haven't yet, please head on over to Facebook, Instagram. Uh, give us a like and follow on both of those. And if you already have, another big thank you. And also, please go on over, check out the Food Lover Youth Show merchandise. We've got a lot of cool stuff up. Check it out. As always, the link will be down in the description below and also right at the end of this video. And with all of that said, again, just thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. All of you loving your support. We love you all, and we'll see you on the next review.